Hello, everyone. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, every time I stream, people will pop in and ask me how I'm able to manage six accounts. <coughs> um, I I use IS Boxer. Um, and before everyone jumps on that, oh my god, IS Boxer is banned bandwagon. Uh, no, it's not. Broadcasting is banned, and if you have the latest version of Xboxer, the dev team at Xboxer have actually removed the um, broadcasting functionality from the Eve profile, so you cannot actually physically broadcast any signals or to any account. Um, there are workarounds, obviously, as you can see. Um, nothing here breaks the Eve Hula. Everything is legal. It's a lot of work. Uh, it takes a lot of work to set up. It's a lot of work to manage. But once you get everything figured out and everything um, everything down, and a little bit of practice, I'm still practicing. Um, I've not had no mess ups yet. Uh, but I'm only doing level 4s. The plan is to move on to Vanguard's incursions. I might be able, should be able to do those with 6 characters. Um, but this is it. Um, as you can see here, uh, in the center, these here, these two. These are my logistics pilots. I, I use full DPS uh, rattlesnakes, so um, I've Got rid of, if you look down here, I've got rid of the passive modules, but um, it's three all damage amplification in the in the lows, buffer tank, um, full DPS. It's around 1500 DPS per per um, rattlesnake, <coughs> and they all assist their drones to this character here, uh, the top one, uh, for ease of access. I have the this character at the top, so I can quickly move between the logistics parts over here and the, the Hugen as it is um, and that's basically the Hugen is such such a good addition I used to use four rail snakes um, but you know having to switch between drones um, sentry drones and, and, and the medium drones here um, was annoying more than anything. Uh, so I switched one to a Hugon and the dual web and at the moment only one target painter and it's all it's all T2 fit for all those gankers that might be watching. Uh, it's all T2 fit. I, I don't use faction modules at all. Um, it's not worth it. Um, uh, I'm thinking of removing one of the one of the involves and putting on a second target painter. Uh, just just so I can stagger them and switch targets easier. Once one target dies, I don't have to wait for the uh, target painter to cycle if the webs are out of range. Because again, they're only T2, so their range is limited. And I'm not using any booster, no, um, no uh, command ship anymore. I used to use a Nighthawk, uh, but I switched the night. Basically, I switched one of the Nighthawks for a buzz, the Nighthawk for a Buzzy, and one of the Rattlesnakes for a Hugon, and, and just dropped a basilisk, uh, dropped a brow snake altogether for a, a switch. Yeah, yeah. I used to use, um, oh yeah, Noctus, you see the Noctus, that's uh, one of those for a basilisk as well. Uh, but I don't bother looting anymore, it's, it's not very efficient uh, to sit around looting and maybe drop uh, a mobile uh, tractor unit in and go back after the fact to just reclaim all the loot and what after each mission run I could do that but some of the, a lot of the missions aren't really at uh, level level 4 aren't really worth leaving but as you can see um, just a quick overview of everything here we have a full screen preview um, look, I can actually move it around I can actually rotate um, everything on uh, these are the four DPS pilots uh, they're in the order in which they're here so the Hugon the rattlesnake, rattlesnake, rattlesnake. Just for ease of memory, um, down here and the target. This is where the lock target is. If I just lock onto the station, 
Um, as you can see, the targets all appear here, and again here, and they're all the adjacent to the right one. Eventually, it was a little. I got these two basilisks wrong the wrong way around the first time, <coughs> which made you know for hilarity. I didn't die, but it was a little, 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 little difficult. Um, the overviews here again. Uh, Technically, they're not in order. These two need swapping around. I keep meaning to do that. In fact, I'll do that now. Um, but the Videx, Videx FX of Iceboxer, which I used to do all this, uh, again, perfectly legal within the rules of CCP. Um, as you can see here on the Videx FX, we have the broadcast. Um, this is for these here, the uh, med one for each one, but I only do the two, the two basilisk pilots for just redundancy for the watch list. We have the huds, which are these here, which are the, you know, just the little game huds. And then we have the targets, obviously, and just the free view, and just the overviews. Um. A lot of people might have separated these, but I didn't see the point. I had them all set up, so they're all in a row on every every account, and my accounts are all stacked on top of each other on my second monitor. My third monitor is what I watch movies on, my own missioning, because now once I've got it down, I can still do that now, which is nice. Or if I'm streaming, I have my uh, stream window over on my third monitor. Um, so I can retwitch that for the people who always come in and go, how much is per hour is this? And I really don't care how much I, I'm not doing this for the is per hour. Um, if one is, I'll just buy plex. Uh, I'm doing this for the enjoyment and the challenge, really. Um, so yeah, for those people who have asked me, and I don't use this setup when I'm mining, by the way. I you don't really need DX nothing for that. I just basically move everything onto one screen and just click between the screens with the iSpotters quick switch. Um, again, not breaking any rules there. And then just, but as you can see, it's all manually, manually done. There are no like press one button and everything it does is it's none of that going on. It's not really worth it because again, like I say, iSpotter doesn't allow you to do that anymore. Within the even line, I'm sure it lets you do it in other games, but I don't really play WoW. Um, uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. I will try and do my best to answer. Um, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Um, I would say if you want to choose for a tutorial to do this, that if you search for Xbox a tutorial. There is a fantastic uh, guide. I will leave a link if I can remember to do it when I upload this in the description below. Uh, if I don't, someone will write a comment and I'll go find it because it's pretty amazingly uh, detailed. It goes into a lot of detail on how you can set up your own. I didn't want to do a guide when there's already a guide out there. I just want to show the people who have sent me emails asking me how I have my setup. My setup. Alright, thanks for watching, um, and see you in space.